Sprite, welcome back to the channel today. Uh, I'm doing another old school Leafs reaction video to a trade. Uh, the Leafs required Riley Nash yesterday. Uh, I didn't do this instantly because I didn't think people would care. And then I got a comment saying that I should do a video to the Riley Nash. So shout out to that person who uh, commented that. I'll probably, maybe I'll put that on the screen. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so the Leafs got Riley Nash for nothing, basically. A conditional seventh round pick. Now, I haven't checked what the condition is. But honestly, at this point, who really cares? It's a seventh round pick. The chance of you getting someone decent in the seventh round is so minimal that... I don't. I honestly don't care if you trade those picks away. Obviously, you guys are probably gonna say Andre Siansen, Andre Siansen. Okay, how many draft pick? How many drafts have we gone through to get an Andre Siansen? How many years of development did it take to get Andre Siansen up to the show? I think that's the big thing there. But when it comes to Riley Nash, let's just look at the player. I don't know if he cracks this lineup. I think he's a good center, like center four depth. That's basically how I see this. Um, you already have Spezza, who's been uh, been playing center. You already have Kerfoot, which, you know, you, you have a bunch of guys who aren't really... And then you have a bunch of guys who are playing center that aren't really natural centers. So I think it makes sense. I think Dubis went out and said, okay, we just need a center. So let's get uh, someone on the cheap who's struggled with injuries this season and is a solid player. He's been a solid player his whole NHL career. He's never been bad. I don't think that there's... Riley Nash is anything special, but I think he's been a solid player. And that's a very valuable thing, especially when you're getting him for basically peanuts at this point. So if he fits into this lineup, I think he'll probably either be uh, probably be a third liner. Um, I think that honestly, the biggest player, and I've made videos about this, and I made a video on Hyman in the past, I think Hyman should be stapled to that first line. He's been immense this year. So I don't think you put Jumbo up there except for on the power play. And there's been... And I don't know where you put Jumbo outside of that. I always said that he would be a great like third liner to get hits and play good passes to other like less skilled players. Because Joe still has the skill. He still has the touch. He still has a decent shot. He still has great playmaking ability. He still has his mind. It's just his legs aren't really there. So I think you have to like compensate for that and put him on like a third line with some players like Mikheyev or Engvall or something like that where he can succeed with some of the younger guys but overall to Riley Nash I think he's really just a fourth line player maybe play next to Jason Spezza maybe spend some time in the A maybe he'll they'll do what they did with Galchenyuk and put him in the AHL game to learn the system and then fit him in into a spot do I think the Leafs need another player yes firmly I think that the, I was going I was planning on making a video on Taylor Hall I uh and why I don't think the Leafs should go for him I might still make that video um, as of right, but as of right now, I just want to focus on Riley Nash, and I think it's a great pickup. When you get a player that's solid like Riley Nash for nothing, I'll take it. Like, even if he gets caught on waivers, you lost a conditional seventh round pick. Like, that's actually nothing. So, welcome to the Leafs, Riley Nash, Dubas. I don't know how you did that, but the Blue Jackets have been absolutely catastrophic this year. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I try and do multiple videos every week. I'm starting exam season now, so um, I probably won't be meeting that deadline. I wasn't planning on doing a video this week anyway, but you know, the, these ones are quick to make, so I'll, I'll just put this one out there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.